this has still got some value. Jeez, this is actually really cool. I've never seen one of those before. Oh, I know what this is. Do you know what this is? You can tell just based on what's sticking out right here. Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys. <laughs> That's heck of funny. That is pretty. That one is. One, two, three, four, seven thousand. Oh. Ooh. One of those. Oh, part of my French. <laughs> Previously on Locker Nuts, it was auction day, this time a vault auction put on by a moving and storage company. I teamed up with the storage auction pirate and we bought a total of four lots and spent over five grand. This is episode five of the adventure and so far we've turned up lots of decent items, but no real big ticket finds which would sail us into profit. We still need to make back another $4,400 to break even. In this episode, we continue to explore the boxes, hoping to find more treasures. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? We are at a storage unit. Not this one, this is next to the one we're at. We're over there, we're at Mike's unit, and we're going through the vaults that we bought. Finding pretty good stuff, finding pretty good stuff. I'm, we're hoping we're gonna find better in this next episode here, because we got a lot of boxes to get through, and it's starting to get better. We're finding some interesting stuff, to say the least, but don't forget, you're only gonna see half of it on my channel. You gotta go to the Pirates channel to see the other half, and his link is below. Let's get to some unboxing. I'll turn my GoPro on right now. All right, grab the box. That is ridiculous. That's why he didn't send me pictures. All right. Okay. Got a wind chime. This is a little different. Real flowers. This is edged with 24k parrot, pure gold made in RP. Where's RP at? Oh, household item, 25 bucks. Okay, I'm suddenly less interested. This is kind of nice. All right. I'm messing up his intro over here. My goodness, it's noisy. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put this over here. There we go, much better. You guys still figure out what the story is here about this emergency packout company. This is from the lots that we purchased with the gal. Uh, reportedly passed away in a car accident. Unexpectedly, obviously. Um, so maybe that has something to do with her death, untimely death, or maybe something else happened before. We don't really know. We haven't figured that part out yet, but it does add to the intrigue for sure. Got a clock, Colonial Clock Company, 1870. I don't think so. This looks like a key, key rack. Oh, okay. That should have, that should have been secured. I just did that. All right, yeah, that's what that is for keys. Thomas Collector Edition Radio. Usually when it says Collector's Edition, it's probably not very collectible. This is Model 317. Knobs are cheap. Next box, let's go through this right here. Let's see what we got. What is this? All right. This, uh, okay. This looks interesting. Let's look at that in a second. Let's see what else we got. Come right back to that. These are brand new. $70 marked down to $40. Naughty Monkey. It's a size nine, okay. Okay, we like this name a little better. Ralph Lauren. Now these are brand new also, nines. Okay, this lift here. Huh. Flex your brain power with a robotics design system that lets you invent and build a robot that follows your inspired commands. It's like build your own robot. Let's hope it's never been done. Oh, look at that. Mm. Well. Mm. It's a really nice whatever that is. Hmm. I think it's, it's... It does feel kind of high quality. It's got a little chip right here. 
Let's see if the batteries are popped. Uh, I can clean it. I can fix it. Let me look it up and see if it's even worth fixing. Okay, there's one for 150 and one for 230. Let's check the sold. 75, 65, 125, 100 bucks. That is interesting. It might be worth cleaning up the batteries. What else we got in here? Okay, this, oh, this is actually, this is another part to that. Okay. That's not a good sign right there. But this has got some value still, even if the batteries are all popped or whatnot. This has still got some value. Jeez, this is actually really cool. I've never seen one of those before. Okay, what's this? What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Do you know what this is? You can tell just based what's sticking out right here. Check this out. I found like probably five of these before. These little robots. So we can find the remote. The remote's worth as much as this guy is. Alright, here's a couple more things to do with this Vex. Tank tread kit and inventor's guide. This is neat. You're trying to teach your kid about robots. It says it's dated 2005 though, so it's not exactly cutting edge stuff. This is great. This is, this is great. Alright, quiet on the set. The light is on. We are on the air. Just kidding. Um, Kind of Native American, Southwestern type looking thing. But was 59? Is that 59 cents? 59 bucks? I don't know. No, this is definitely some Southwestern type stuff here. It's like we're in a Southwestern room. Hmm. Dang. Real dirt in a fake plant, and the dirt's filled in the box. Lovely. Hmm. I'm trying to think, like, do we put this in just right at the flea market? Do we try to do something better with it? The Luminator, I think this is where you stick a uh, glow stick in here. Oh, no, it's a battery operated. Okay. There's a good umbrella. It's a little sticky right here. Rains are coming, possibly later today. Scale seem to travel a little bit. It's pottery class. <laughs> Nothing special there, guys. Nothing special there. Next box. More bubble wrap. And maybe that means more goodies. There's a little stand for something. Let's see. There's another little base for something. Whoa. There's a crystal ball. That's worth a few bucks. Is it? Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Totally a base for it. There's this a base right here. This reminds me of the time, it's not completely oval, that I bought the unit with the end of the world orb in it. The delay that the witch was in front of saying that she had been hiding in it for years and we shouldn't buy her unit. Uh Yeah. I never found it. I purposely had to buy it looking for the end of the world orb. Just gotta get displayed nicely at the flea market or wherever. That's a good box so far. Another base. Another base. What's going on with this? I think this is some sort of a candle, maybe? I want to say something like they're kerosene or something. Huh. Oh, that's a trip. Another little glass thing. This could be a good little lot for our auction right here. All this little glass stuff. Oh, yeah. Alright, next box. We're getting through it. We're going to do this today. We're going to get through all of these boxes today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Those are not what I'm looking for, guys. Just to let you know, we're not looking for flush and pillows. Underneath. Dang it. Nope. Decent pillows. Next box. Or we can say next tote. Oh, I saw Jurassic Park right away. That got me interested. Some hats. That's kind of a neat hat. So these are all embroidered. 
That's kind of neat, but it's really yellowed. It's going to need to be cleaned up. Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys. <laughs> Cowboys. <laughs> Looks like she had a boy. Boys box. Treasure Island. Oh, that's cool. Grimm's Fairy Tales, Rumble Still Skin. Snow White, that's cool. Mike's finding some good stuff over there. That's good. It's just said good. I didn't say I didn't say what. If you wanna know what, you gotta go to his channel. And watch his videos. Timberland. Shout out to me. <laughs> Super Gill. Ultimate fighting bad boy. <laughs> That's heck of funny. Nike. Number 34. I don't know what that is. I don't know who would ever wear this. Alright. We'll see if Michaela watches my videos. Some dissing on the Cowboys. Polo. That's good. Oh, whoa. They actually put this in the same box the Cowboys did? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, come on. Need a better box for that. All right, little Kimmel. Not a bad box. Good flea market stuff. All right, next box. Uh, I was hope really hoping it was going to be better than the last one. The last one was bad, it just wasn't that good. Halloween stuff in December is not ideal. Still in dot order forms. Mm-mm. The right dirty uh, type would be my nope, nope, nope. And a heater. Dang it. The heater will sell at the market. Okay. Let's see bubble wrap. Alright. Uncle Mike just pulled that off the trailer. We'll get that in a second. We'll save it for the end. Hopefully it'll make an exciting end. It doesn't always work out that way though. It doesn't always. Okay. Picture frames. This had a big house. There's a lot of stuff. Your max eight bucks for me. Okay. It's a little different. Zombie pinup. I think someone did it themselves. Last trunk wasn't too bad. Let's see about this. Hmm. Something in it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Japan. Oh, it's made in Japan. Takanashi. What are these? You know, I'm gonna have to find out what this is now. Mm -mm. It's the chocolates. Kitchen towels. Cheap glass. No mark here. Yeah, it's totally been broken and glued. Royal Albert, England. It's a little bit nicer. Yeah, there we go. Match and set. We've sold those many times before. Foil backsplash wall sticker. And that's that. Dang it. All right, next box. Looks like a lamp. No, it is not. This is something different. Oh, well, Bombay Company, okay. It's leather. I think that's, yeah, that's real leather. Oh, that's kind of nice. Hanging on the wall. Wish I had the price tag on it. Alright. I haven't found one of those before. Alright, next box. Next box. This box is not full. It's like chalk. Hmm. That's different. 2001 is 2002 membership gift for the Black Shear Circle. Never seen one of those. Yoga. It is heavy. Booze. Booze? Oh, I don't know. It, it does weigh pretty much, but there's Change no. Jars. There's no jingle though. It does seem flexible. I think it could be some dumbbells. 
in, in dumbbells would be alright. Yeah, they would. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, no kidding. Mattress bag, queen. <laughs> That's actually pretty nice though. Okay, ten bucks. No, not that nice. Seems like it's carved granite. Uh, it's heavy stoneware out of wrapped in soft towels. Oh wait, this is actually okay. This is good. This is Ross twelve bucks though. How can they sell it so cheap? Made in Brazil. It's actually really nice. 12 bucks, really? Is this fake or what? It's old. You can't fake that. Right? Made in Brazil. It's this is nice. Thing. Can you just go down to Ross and buy these for 12 bucks each? I don't know. I don't know either. It's pretty. They'll really pretty. That's why it was so heavy. I would have never guessed Ross. It's a bag of rocks. Well, even if it's just 12 bucks each, it's starting to add up now. We have a lot of them. That is pretty. That one is. Hmm. Oh, that's really pretty. It's cool. I'm liking it. There's one more. Man, they're really colorful. They must have put dye in them or something. I can't imagine them coming that color out the ground. I don't know, I'm good. Cause it's loud. Very interesting. I was never guessed it was rock. Man. That explains why it's so heavy though. That was a good that was a good box. Yeah. Or bag or whatever. Yeah. Alright. Next box. Mike and I are doing tandem auctions here. Or uh, tandem unboxings, I mean. There's Oakley's. They don't have the word oak on them, they just say O. Yeah, it's got it right there, too. Uh, look. You know, Oakleys are expensive. That's probably a $100 bill once we wipe those bad boys down. That's great. Really, really good. We need a 44 more $100 bills coming out of this locker. That's what we need. Yeah, that's cool. Merry Christmas. I like it. That's nice. What's this? Almost looks like it's hand carved. Oh, this is a little present wrapped up with the bow. It, it, what is this? Oh, right, this is a little jewelry box. Oh, it's slightly a music box. box yet, huh. Ooh, Christmas stuff. <laughs> That's nice. That's perfect timing, huh? Mm -hmm. Two weeks before Christmas. Want some Christmas stuff? Mm -hmm. Not that interesting. Next box. Looks like some clothes, but you never know. You never know. Like, look at that. Alright, we got some swimsuits in here. And a bunch of kitchen towels. Next box. It's, oh, it's a pig. You know, I don't really call you names. I would <laughs> I just was coming to see what's in the box and he wanna call me names. It's, it's a fifty dollar home goods pig though. This is not bad. I'm oh, you know. Fifty well, bucks. Know, little woman convinced me to go into a home good one time for a cake plate and three hundred dollars later I Ooh. decorated the house for Christmas. <laughs> Not going back there again. What do you think? Is that a stool? Sit mm -hmm. on it? Footrest? It looks. It's ceramic though. It and has resin. the feel of a. It's cheap. Okay, we got more pigs. Maybe there's a blanket. Oh. Something. It's not nothing. Oh my goodness, I think it is another pig. Oh, it's a cow this time. It's a sheep. God, some weird things. Yeah, isn't it? Next box. Okay. Let's 
six dollar price tag. There's some big old balls. Let me add those to the ones hanging in my tree in the front yard. That's actually pretty cool right there. It's metal. It's a little bit nicer. It's old. You think? It looks old. Yeah. It feels nicely made. Tree lit cherry blossom tree. Those are cool. We got 30 bucks on sale. Oh, I'm doing all right. Not cheap. Okay. Flex strength medium. That does not look like my style. Yeah, That's cool. Batman ornament. That looks pretty warm. Yeah. This is somebody's gift right here. This is what someone got for our Christmas yeah. last year. Brunella Gori made in Italy. Age of Wisdom. No prices because it was a gift. Cutter and Buck, that's a good brand. All right, let's see what's in here. A little nutcracker. Oh. So all the packs are open. If there, if there is a Charizard in there. Oh boy. Dang. Too much of a the prairie. Uh, here's another box of gifts that no one used. Mm -hmm. Here's another sweater. DKNY this time. Huh, look at that. Look at that. That's a good one. I bought one of those the other day. Did you? This kind of good. Yeah. I think that's enough unboxing of that one. Now let's get this, let's get to this right here. I'm saving this for last, and I think it's about time. Oh, it's unlocked. Let's get to that. Let me put this away, and we'll get right to this. Okay. Moment of truth here. Combo to the six. Oh, zeros. Combo. This is zeros. Oh. Should we go on three? I haven't made the viewers mad in a while. <laughs> I usually count oh, 7,000. <laughs> 7,000? Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I do the fast motion? One, two, three, four, 7,000? Oh. Who? Do one of those. Oh, part of my French. I should cut that out, Jack. I'll just bleep it. But this is a uh, hookah stuff. I might have a buyer for this. Oh, this is a hookah. Is this a nicer one? Mmm. What do you call a nice hookah, you know what I mean? I have like, no idea. I don't have like a whole lot of experience with hookahs, so... Uh, something else goes in here. Oh, this. Screw that on there. Yeah. It's new. I don't think that's been used. That goes right there. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And we got the charcoal, charcoal, quick lighting, and hookah tobacco, Mai Tai. Hmm. Mm -mm. Maya, I wonder if that's a maker on that. All right, well, that wasn't too terribly fulfilling, but you know what? Sometimes that's the way it works. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. The briefcase wasn't what we were hoping, but still a few bucks there. It's all adding up. It's all adding up to get us our 4400 bucks back. That's what we need break even and start seeing some profit here i know our good stacks are getting bigger i know our auction items are going to be uh, lotted up and bring some excitement to the auctions here very soon make sure you tune in for those live auctions right on the lockiness channel it's every monday on mike's channel it's called the storage or it's called the pirate auctions channel and he does them uh, very often through the week so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification three a day, three a day. Whew, stepping it up it's good <laughs> We have to keep buying then. We gotta keep buying. So we keep selling. All right. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget, you gotta go to his channel to see the other half of the great stuff that we're pulling out here. Uh, half the excitement is only on the Storage Auction Pirate channel. All right. Next video will be out soon. 
until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on... Locker <laughs> You got it the first time this time. Okay. That brings our tale almost to a close. Unless we find something else, but I think that's it. All right. So, we've been waiting for this. It's one of the things that we saw in the locker. It's right in the front. And uh, it's not empty. Ready? Yeah.